Hey there! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take those screenshots that I just showed to you. If you find this uh, tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing because that will motivate me to make more tutorial videos like this. And it makes me happy. So to be able to take these screenshots in Dirtually 2, you need to download Dirtually 2.0 Tools version 2.11 I will have the link in the description below. Be sure to check out the controls, how to control the camera in game and download the file. Save it to a place that you will remember. After that, locate the file, open it and extract the contents, again, the place where you will find the files easily. Before launching the application, you need to start virtually 2. Then you Alt tap out from the game while the game is still running. Right click from the EXE. Choose properties. Go to compatibility. Check the box run as administrator. And click on OK. Double click on the EXE file. You should have a pop up that will tell everything is fine. You can hit on enter, window will close, and then you can go back to game. And after that, all you need to do is you need to go run a stage and enter the replay mode. When you're in replay mode, you just need to find a suitable moment that you would like to capture. This was looking interesting. We are a bit sideways in the air, landing on front tires. So here, I'm just trying to find the best moment, the most exciting moment that I want to capture. After I've done, I need to hit insert button on the keyboard and we can start moving the camera. The camera is controlled by the arrow keys and the numpad keys. You can go sideways, you can tilt up and down and with the mouse you can also change the uh, direction of the camera. I'm fast forwarding the footage because finding the best angle takes some time and trial and error. But eventually, when you when you find the spot, all you need to do is you just need to take a screenshot. I prefer to use the photo mode by NVIDIA Shadow Play. To enable Shadow Play, go to the Windows Start menu, type in Experience. You should see Keforce Experience, click on that and then make sure you have activated the in-game overlay here. When it is activated, you can access this photo mode in any game that you play. Now you don't necessarily need Shadow Play to take this screenshot. You can take the screenshot however you want and uh, edit the pictures afterwards to get the effect you want. But with uh, Shadow Play, we have some nice tools available. I don't have a Radeon GPU, but maybe Radeon GPUs have their own similar software. For Shadow Play, to get into the photo mode, you need to hit Alt and F2. And on the left hand side, you will get the menu with options. Here we can add filters. And first one I'm going to add is the depth of field. First thing you need to do is to invert depth for virtually 2. And the focus depth will uh, change how far or near the focus will be. Far blur curve changes how smooth is the transition between the in-focus and out-of-focus areas. That's usually good anywhere from 8 to 10% near blur curve. Attempts to blur objects near the camera. But for virtually 2, you can keep this anywhere from 50% to 100. The blur radius changes the strength of the blur of the background. So when you find the settings that are suitable, we can go ahead and we can add more filters. There's many filters available. I like to use the color filter. 
here you can change the tint color but usually it's best to have that at zero you can change the tint intensity i'll leave that to zero as well temperature you can decide if you want to have a warm picture or not but what i mostly use for dirt rally 2 is the vibrance which will punch out those colors a bit more then one more filter that i like to use is the brightness and contrast so with exposure you can make the picture brighter or darker that's usually good at the zero the contrast will give a bit more oomph to the image it's better not to overdo it just to find a nice balance between the strength of the colors and when adding the contrast usually some of the white parts of the picture will get blown out so i put the highlights to minus 100 then as the last one i'm adjusting the shadows to have a proper black where the black should be and when i'm done i just click on the snap and it will save the image to my hard drive after that i just uh, click on insert and we can continue watching the replay and here here's the biggest jump i think in finland the camera angle is bad and it's too far away we can't see anything so we can again click on insert and we can move the camera close and now it is again just a matter of finding that perfect angle the software that makes this possible can be a bit buggy the camera might uh, pop back to the car at some point or some sometimes when i'm uh, exiting a stage the game might crash but hopefully those are just my issues so i maybe wouldn't recommend using this during some important esport runs but again, after I have gotten the camera close, I have filled the frame nicely. We have the pine tree branch framing the car. Now, when we found the frame, it is a good workflow to click on home button and that will lock the camera in place. So when you move the mouse and change the different filters, then the camera will remain still. Again, I can just hit alt f2 and now we have the filters that i used on previous picture all i need to do is to adjust the settings i will find suitable focus depth which looks natural i'm trying again the near blur curve but uh, it's best to leave that untouched then the far blur curve it's a bit too far away there maybe oh this looks good when the rear of the car is slightly blurred when the whole car is in focus it seems somehow unnatural like the car is floating but when the car back is blurred a bit it's connected to the image and then this, this looks a bit bit too bright the colors are not natural tuning down the vibrance and the contrast we have too much of contrast here highlights were good and then just fine-tuning the shadows so image looks natural and there we go we have another screenshot and then we can exit the photo mode hit on insert and continue watching the replay now here is a real-life picture from Yamsa which I took a couple of years ago and one cool thing I can do with this makeshift photo mode is to try to match the IRL picture with the in-game picture. And uh, we can get pretty close. When just finding the spot and while moving the camera and clicking on control and the numbat keys, the camera moves slowly and we can make these smooth pans like what you saw in the intro video here here's another picture of the yellow house jump at the amsa and what i did i just uh, threw the stage and parked my car next to the house then again on the replay mate clicking insert navigating my way next uh, to the correct point of view and uh, we can match the picture with this mode you can also 
explore different items in the maps, like rowing boats and swarms, or make just cool drones shots. It is a really shame that this beautiful game doesn't have a proper photo mode, but if it's possible to do with third-party applications, I hope they make the photo mode a reality in virtually 3.0. Again, if you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I will be posting my screenshots in our Barrel Rollers community at Discord. I will have the invite link in the description. And feel free to come there and ask any questions. You can also check my other videos and come to chat with me when I'm live at Twitch.